Hello everybody. So now that my uh, drones can land themselves, it's time for me to build a carrier or two. But I'm really bad at carriers, so I downloaded some carriers off of the Steam Workshop and I'm just going to take a look and see whether I can draw any inspiration or best practices from them. This one's the biggest one, so we'll start here. This is the Michael Battle Carrier, and it is just tremendously huge. I don't have all of the mods, so uh, there are probably some pieces missing. But this draws most of its uh, most of its inspiration from actual naval uh, ships, naval carriers. Uh, well, probably more naval battle cruisers. Uh, they don't really. This doesn't really look like a carrier. There was obviously some stuff here. It's gone now because um, I don't have all the mods. But this narrow wedge shape is really nice. What I've what I've learned from looking at the Michael battle carrier is that flying armor is cool. Uh, flying armor is this stuff. And this stuff is pretty good because if you take some missile hits or something, the armor might be destroyed, but it's far enough away from the core of the ship that it's not going to... Uh, no, none of that explosive power is going to rip through and actually hit the core of the ship. It's all going to hit the, the flying, flying plate. And even if a hole is punched through, the hole is only a tiny portion of the plate, and managing to fire through the hole into the ship itself would be kind of threading a needle. This flying armor is really, really wide. I mean, this is flying way, way off of the ship. But he's got these gorgeous mechanical frameworks uh, to keep it suspended that make me think that this might be a cool way to do things. Wide mechanical uh, armor like this. The actual landing decks of this ship are... Oh, there's actually, like, fold-out machinery and stuff. This is a pretty complicated ship. But the actual landing decks are these platforms over here. These are also suspended away from the ship. They're flying landing decks. And for the same reason, if a fighter were to crash into them, the ship itself would suffer no damage. You just have some armor damage to the actual surface of this of this uh, tarmac here. And it's got some flying over armor over top of it to protect the uh, to protect the ships from themselves and from enemy fire. In general, this is a very very pretty and intricate design. What I love best about this design is the mechanical buttressing that he's done. This stuff is gorgeous. What I hate about this design is that it's all landing. There's no docking. Um, this sort of setup wouldn't work for my drones for many reasons, but I think that the mechanical uh, linkages are just cool looking, and I may steal some of that. Let's go ahead and delete it. It's going to take about 15 seconds to delete, because it's enormous, and there's some kind of penalty for not having all of the mods. Everything takes longer to delete if you, if you try and create or delete a ship that you're missing mods for. There we are. So let's just go down the line. Um, this is the next one. I actually did this before, but the second one I reached crashed the game. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen this time. We'll just take a closer look here. This also contains mods that I don't have. That's fine. So this is a medium size, it looks like. I've never seen this ship before. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. I, I don't know anything about it, so if it's not a carrier... Uh, sorry. I'm trying to find any sign that it is a carrier, and... Oh, that's a gorgeous way to do things. I never even thought of that. Creating a surface uh, texture out of interior blocks like that. That's, that's pretty brilliant. Maybe it's a carrier on this side. Oh, there it is. There it is. So this is a this is a carrier where the landing deck is actually wedged in behind the uh, the head. Now this exact setup won't work for me simply because um, wah, simply because my drones are not this nimble. Um, I would have to be able to tell them like the 18 spots they'd have to go to in order to navigate their way into this kind of hangar bay. But it is a nice design. Um, again. No connectors, just flight, just flat space. It's it's weird that that seems to be something that people are into. Very sparse interiors here. Looks like some sage thrusters in the back. So this is a carrier where the landing deck is not the focus, but instead the focus is obviously this uh, this head that they've got on the ship. I think that you can go inside. I'm not sure. How do you get inside this thing? Well, I know how I get inside this thing. Oh, 
Oh, okay, so it's actually not... Oh, maybe it is. I'm trying to figure out if this is supposed to be inhabitable sp I guess it's not supposed to be inhabitable space. This is a super sparse carrier, um, but its lines are quite nice. If we look at it, we can see that it's got some really nice design work into how it looks. Uh, this sort of um, appearance is pretty evocative. I wonder where he got the idea from. I think the head might be a little bit overweight, or the body a little bit underweight. But that's a really cool little hook. Uh, it's nice. It's got a design. So there is some surface landing area here. Oh, I see. You can come in from here to land on this dais, which presumably can be retracted. Uh, I'm missing some of the some of the mods, so I, I presume the functional bits there are just missing at the moment. So all told, this is a pretty typical uh, carrier. It just has some focus on the lines. Um, I'm not going to focus on those lines, but that's not a bad carrier at all. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, Midnight Carrier? There's not even a screenshot? I wonder if this will crash the game. I live in constant fear of crashing during live recording. Ooh, this is an interesting look. So this is the Midnight Carrier. Oh, I think I know who built this. Uh, oh, no, wait. This is a gorgeous carrier. What? This is... this is vanilla? I don't see any... any mod parts, and this is such a gorgeous carrier. Oh my god. Look at this. It's called the Balalaika here. Didn't I click on... It's called the Midnight Carrier here in the Balalaika in-game. Well, whatever. This is a brilliant... Oh, Midnight, I think, is the name of the group. This is a brilliant uh, design in terms of how it looks and how it feels. Um, these are heavy armor... Or sorry, these are uh, armored door... You know, armored um, blast blocks. I wonder if this can be rotated? No. Yeah, yeah, it can. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, this is a this is a great design, guys. So these these docking elements here can actually be rotated. I don't know which direction they can be rotated, but they can be rotated such that uh, this intake changes dramatically. Okay, this is that's a really great idea. See, with my drones, I need to have a straight-in approach. It's very difficult just because it's difficult to get the precise parameters. So if a drone has to come in and then stop and then move sideways and then stop and then move down, it's difficult because you don't know exactly how big the drone is, you don't know how exactly where it should be, you don't know exactly what it considers the center of its ship to be. Uh, so what I need is a straight-in approach. And uh, if these can be tipped to like a 45-degree angle, like this, and then these would be pointed straight out or something similar, then that would be a straight-in approach, and I could use these mechanical contrivances so that you could have a straight-in approach for drones, and then they would lie flat, and, and that would reveal more straight-in approaches for drones. Oh, that's a really good idea. And this um, this design here, these these in this interior design is just fantastic. It looks so nice. It's like uh, it's like what the Neutron movie should have looked like. Oh, wow. More of these? These seem to be rotatable as well. I think these actually rotate the wrong direction for what I need, but the idea is still quite sound. Yeah, I'm sold. I'll buy two. <laughs> so this is the Balalaika. And that is just, just gorgeous on the inside. Um, it's vanilla, so the outside has some challenges. I'm presuming it's vanilla just because I haven't seen a single sign of anything that's not not vanilla. But vanilla ships are always going to have a hard time with engines, especially large ships. So there's always going to be some ugliness to their design. But these... more flying armor here. Okay, so these flying armor plates are really tight, whereas the other flying armor plates were really heavy. But these flying armor plates are light armor rather than heavy armor. I think. Let's go ahead and take a look. Yeah, those are all light armor plates. 
um, and that implies that they are serving their role uh, quite well. This is a fast battle carrier, fast for a vanilla ship at any rate, and so these are simple light armor blocks that serve to absorb missile fire for a little while and keep it from damaging anything important. These very, very tight flying armor areas are more like what I had in mind for the Odin. This is a gorgeous ship. Okay, whoever whoever designed the Balalaika, whoever is the Midnight Faction is, you guys are just the best. This is so nice. This really shows you what you can do with vanilla. Wow. I'm actually sad to delete this and move on to the next one. So the next one would be the... Oh, that's mine. Uh, this one is the... No, that's what we have. This one is the Slaw. I actually subscribed to about 30, and only these four, or well, five if you count the one that crashed my game, came through in the end. Um, maybe the other ones came are like worlds or something? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, I didn't bother to check and see uh, what sort of mods they actually were using. But this is the Azern. I think it's... About the same size as the Balalaika. It doesn't have a beacon. Interesting. So, uh, again, I don't know anything about these. This is interesting. Um, is there something special about this? Or is it just an armor optimization? I think it must just be an armor optimization. I think this is all heavy armor. Yeah. So, once again... They have a hard time with the engines. I wonder whether this has modded engines in the back. If you're going to use mods, you mod in engines. No, no, they're just using standard heavies. I think this is this is quite a small carrier, or a small ship, in comparison to the others. I think I was mistaken, and it's not as large as the Balalaika. There's a window leading inside. So where's the carrier space? Is it underneath? Or did I just mistakenly call it a carrier, even though there was no... I don't see anything even vaguely resembling carrierness here. So out of the um, out of the 30 or so carriers that I subscribed to, I ended up with three that could actually be put into a game world. Uh, one which crashed the game, and one which is interesting looking, but isn't a carrier. I, I don't see any signs that there's anything even vaguely carrier-like about this ship. Uh, no, there's no external landing docks at all. Oh, it's asymmetric. That's interesting. Well, let's give the A's... Oh, there's no gravity generator? I bet that the mods are... I bet he's got a power mod, and I don't have the right reactors. And it's probably using the AZ reactor. Whatever it's called. Um, I don't use those. Oh, wow. When I got rid of his mods, I really trashed his interiors. Look at this. All of his floors and walls were built out of modded material that I don't have. <laughs> Interesting idea to use these as wall elements. Um, yeah. It doesn't look like it was a bad ship, aside from my total lack of allowing it to get all the mods it needs. But it doesn't appear to be a carrier. This space... No, no, it's not really a carrier space. Is it? No, it can't be. Oh, it is a carrier. Here it is. Alright, so this is a carrier. This is a pocket carrier. Okay, okay, okay. I see now. So this carrier is a pocket carrier. You have to come in through a very narrow gantry. A very narrow area, rather, and uh, and pilot your way in here. At which point you can land on any of these designated landing areas. I don't see any refuel. Why is it so rare for people to put in actual docking elements? Maybe there's like a mod that has cool-looking docking elements, and all the ships I got just don't have that. I just don't have that mod, and so they're invisible. I don't know. Either way, this is definitely not something I can have my drones get into, uh, simply because my drones would have a little bit of a hard time 
fitting through this tight space. I mean, I could build a drone that would, but then if I ever built another drone, I'd have to make sure that it could also get through this tight space. Um, and I might need different coordinates, and it would just be really a pain in the ass. Still, this is a really interesting design, this kind of double-decker... Oh, I get it. These are considered flanding, flanding, <laughs> flying landing spots. Um, so if there's any, ever any damage, they don't cause too much damage to the underside. Uh, and if there's any damage against the exterior bottom of the ship, it doesn't come through and hit them. So I'm sorry that I called you not a carrier. You're definitely a carrier. So out of the 30 I got, I got four carriers and one carrier that crashed the ship. It's really an interesting, interesting wing structure, but I think it just serves to make the ship look a little goofy. Maybe it could be fixed if it had a different shape to it, or the shape fit in better with the overall. Sorry, I'm thinking about the Odin uh, set of carriers that I'm going to have to build, and I'm thinking about what I'm going to do. So, after all of that, let me delete this guy, and put the... Uh, oh, look at all that stuff. And let's put the... Uh, Midnight Carrier back in here. So the Odin Drone Carrier, there's going to be a couple of different variants. Um, one that's vanilla, and at least one that's not. But the core issue that I need to address is that these carriers are going to have to take drones in, and the drones are very, very good at coming in straight and stopping exactly in time and all that stuff, but they're not very good at moving up and down I like the idea of rotatable landing pods, but the drones run off of the... Well, no, that's only true when they're landing. When they're, when they're taking off, they just back up. I'm a little bit worried because these, when you rotate them, they're no longer aligned with the axis of the ship. And the drones use a lot of uh, axis of the ship calculations. So if you rotate them like 60 degrees or something, then they're going to be thinking that they're 60 degrees off of wherever they actually are while they're parked. Um, and that could be problematic on the approach. It's not problematic at all on the departure, though. So if we could guarantee that they would always be at 90 on the departure, this might be a great way to do things. Um, the Odin itself, I don't think that it's going to end up looking like this, uh, just because it isn't really my style, but this this is a gorgeous design sense. Uh, I understand that he didn't use mods, but I would love to see what he could do with the same ship using mods, because the ugliest part of this ship, by far, is the engine set. This is just... this makes the whole ship look bad. But everything else is just so incredible. I'm definitely going to use the tight armor plating, I'm definitely going to use the interior, the interior design sense that this guy had. Um, yeah, these are brilliant. I might look this guy up and send him an email telling him how much I like this ship. What are you? Oh, a camera? Oh, small ship camera. That's cute. Is that using a, a rotor malfunction? Is that where you mount a small ship top into a big rotor base? Can't really tell. Interior turret. There's another one. Let's go ahead and just mine our way in here and see what this is made of. Oh, okay, I see. There it is. So that's a small... It's a small rotor. How is the small rotor connected to the ship? Yep, I guess that must have been it. So they, he used the, the small rotor on a large rotor trick. Neat. Well, if you watched all the way through this, um, congrats. I'm going to go ahead and build some carriers. Oh yeah, it's F11.